Hello, and welcome to Notes 9. I'm David Leedy from lotusnotebook.com. Episode number 13, X Pages, XML, excellent. The source is strong with this one. Okay, we want to talk about some uh, new screencasts and a podcast that's that's come out since the last time uh, I, I produced the show. And uh, I want to do a tip and demo on using X Pages. Let's get started. Okay, first of all, there's Tips and Two. This is a, a new screencast uh, by Darren and Lisa Duke of Simplified Technology Solutions, and it's at tipsandtwo.com. And they're doing, uh, I think they're nuts, but they're doing two-minute screencasts. I mean, nine-minute screencasts is kind of challenging for me, uh, but they're doing two-minute tips on uh, mostly end-user kind of tips for um, most of the Lotus product portfolio, notes and quicker and same time. Um, so they've got a, a whole bunch of tips on their site over there, and I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, you might might pick something up. I know I have. Um, okay, next, xpages101.net by Matt, Mr. Xpages White. This is by far the best way to learn X Pages out there uh, today. I think it's it, it does. It's not free. It costs uh, costs some money, but it's worth it. This is much better than the stuff I'm doing right now. Um, because one, it's longer than nine minutes, and two, it's done by Mr. Matt White, um, and three, you get to hear a, a British accent, and you know you just can't go wrong with those three things. So what he's doing is he's doing the, these really in-depth, very technical, very uh, high-quality demo uh, demonstrations on on how to build different X pages um, with different tools and techniques. Like he just did a uh, a dojo dialog box pop-up which was great and uh, they seem to be coming out every Monday so it's actually something to look forward to on Monday and it's I think they're running around anywhere from you know 12 to 19 minutes give or take um, for the latest stuff so it's 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 great stuff it's like he's in the room talking to you next is this in the screencast is a podcast this is a DX cast by Tim Clark and Stefan Whistle uh, both from IBM, though I believe they do this on their own time, and it's at thexcast.net. This is a monthly podcast on X pages, and they bring people in for a little interview. They have a, a tip section. Um, I was on episode two with uh, Paul Withers from Intech, a great X page developer, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, and I look forward to seeing more of it. I believe they're on iTunes and. Have their own RSS feed, so you can subscribe to that and and get it when it comes out. Okay, now for today's show, I'm going to talk about using HTML in X Pages, and and the real point of this is is using the source panel. In traditional notes uh, development, you didn't have a source panel; you only had the IDE. But X Pages gives us this source panel where you can type into it directly. And that may be intimidating for, for a, a tra no traditional person because it's new and it's XML format. Uh, but it's really not that scary. And quite honestly, you need to use it because there are some things you can do in the source that you cannot do with the IDE, uh, like put in specific HTML markup. And, and most of the, the top X page developers only use the source panel now. They don't even use the IDE. And that's going to get even more popular, I think, in 852. Uh, they announced at Lotusphere that you're going to be able to drag uh, controls and 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 uh, things and like that into the source panel directly. Uh, even I'm starting to use the source panel more and more, so it, it must be, you know, easy. So okay, let's go to the demo. Okay, so here we have just just a little X page, and it's. I got some tables here and, and two table kind of blocks uh, and some fields. It's bound to a single data source. Um, I guess it could be two different data sources, but uh, that's not the point of the show. And kind of think of this maybe here as the company information and maybe here is a contact information all on one page. And, and it looks like this. So nothing fancy going on here, just some fields uh, from a data source. But now let's say we want to add certain things like HTML markup, like an H1 tag or a field set. Well, you can't do that in the IDE. There's there's no you know there's no core control for field set. There's nothing for different HTML tags like that. So you need to go to the source, and the source is right over here. Design source. 
do a little dance. There's nothing to be afraid of here. So if we look at the source and scroll to the top, this has everything that you see in the IDE and more. So here's the the data source, Domino Document One. You can see it under here. Here is see this little company information label. Here is the label. Okay, and and do you notice what happens when you when you kind of click into these tags? It actually moves down here, so you can actually change it here, and it live updates. So here, again, here's a style. Let's say we want to add a style. See how it adds that right away if we get rid of it. So that's a big benefit for when you're in the source, knowing that your property panel and your outline will move as you move. Um, so that just makes it that much easier. Okay, so now let's, what do we do with this? Okay, let's say we want to add an H1 tag. H1. And then we want to close it because this is proper uh, XML. And there it was. So all you have to do, it expects the closing tag. So it's going to try and help you. And as soon as you hit that slash, you know, it, it puts it in. Um, so now we have an H1 tag. And if we look at that, we'll see it styled a little better. Okay. And what about field sets? Just type it in. Now field sets usually have legends. Again. Okay, but now we want to come down to the end of the table and close the field set. And notice how that was highlighted because I had table highlighted in there. Close the field set. Now if you save this and look at this, we're now adding HTML through the source and we've got our legend. Now I don't have it styled very nicely here. Um, but, but that's how you do it. Let's come back in here. So this is an area that, that is really, you know, you don't want to be afraid of it because it, it's just it's just too useful to be afraid of it. Now, as, as you use this, what you might learn or, or see is, you know, you're typing in there, things get messed up. You know, it's not as neat. The, the indentation isn't right. Well, if you do Control-Shift-F, it formats it all nicely for you. Okay, see how that worked. So let's try it again. And control Shift F, and it puts it in order. So it's nice to use that to kind of clean up after yourself. And that is the source. And that was the demo. Okay, so if you want to find out anything more about me, here's my contact information. Uh, also, I, I did, I don't know if it sounds differently, I did use a new microphone this week. I bought a new uh, Yeti microphone, uh, so hopefully that sounds pretty good. Uh, if not, please let me know, and uh, I thank you for your time.